Buenos dias. Welcome to a new video. We have a new mission today. Are you ready for this mission? I'm very ready for this mission. Are you going to come with us? Come with us. Let's go. So today, we're going to make our way across to the other side of the lake, to the famous Shiva statue. It should be around a three hour walk, so we've got quite the mission. So we're kitted out, we're ready. I'm wearing my sports gear. See, Mara's wearing her sports gear. But first and foremost, we need fuel. And I think you know what that entails. Dun, dun, dun. Coffee. Coffee. Nice to see nice you. To see you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is our very beautiful friend, Jamuna, and she is the best one making coffees around this area. So if you want to have coffee, you coffee have to coffee. come to this place. Like, sorry that you can't, can't miss this place. It's the best coffee ever. Bye-bye. <laughs> have a good day. <laughs> I've said it before in another video. If you don't come to that shop for coffee, you're really missing out because great people, that's a, Jamona is a, a nice girl who we consider a friend now. So, we've got our fuel, let's get moving. Onward to the Shiva temple. And watch out for the dog food. <laughs> We do have a confession. We're powering along here full of confidence and you might confuse us for experienced, well-trained, well-prepared travellers. <laughs> Anything is far from the truth. We came this way yesterday with the intention of going to the Buddha Stupa and the Shiva temple and it took us so long to find it <laughs> that by the time we arrived at the Buddha Stupa, which isn't allowed any filming there, by the way, it was getting dark and so we had to come down. So this is take number two, <laughs> hence why we are more comfortable with our way. Here we have our first bridge crossing, but we're gonna take a little walk down here because yesterday we did explore, or at least I did, and this area is completely beautiful. I have to show it. We see people washing their clothes, but it just looks like a really good swimming spot. Whether you can or not, I don't know. But look how beautiful this is. Like, what a place to do your laundry. So this is the bridge. Typical suspension bridge. Very sturdy metal, feels solid. You know, there's wooden planks on the bottom and you feel every bounce. <laughs> You see these little gaps in the wood? You're not going anywhere though, it feels very solid. Although, you see the bounce? There's definitely a bounce with these people coming. <laughs> and this is where we were before. Now the beautiful thing with this walk up to the Shiva temple and the Buddha stupa is that it takes you through these local communities and particularly at the moment because these times is the harvesting time so it's where they're cutting the fields down harvesting the rice you see it so when we walked through here yesterday there was a lot of people working in the fields very beautiful it looked very very hard work these are very hard working people, especially in these conditions where it's hot. But in terms of, you know, seeing local culture, this walk is really nice. I do recommend it. You can get a taxi if you wish to, if you're short on time or you're just tired of trekking. And of course, as well, if you want to spread some money in the economy and give a taxi driver a fare. But the walk is, is very nice and it's not too hard. We do encounter some steep roads in a little bit, but other than that, it's easy going. And the trekking in Mardi Himal certainly prepared us. Feeling strong, feeling fit, 
feeling ready to go. How are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> I'm tracking with Rocky Balboa today. <laughs> <laughs> let me just uh, let me just emphasize that this is not how she was yesterday. <laughs> let me see if I can find a little clip. <laughs> I'm not mentally prepared and um, because I don't have the right equipment. These sandals are not right sandals to be climbing this whole hill. It's not expecting this. This was not in the contract. I signed up for something different. England. England. You? Good, yeah. I'm Nepali. Nepali? Yeah. From Pokhara? Just here. Uh, very lucky. You have a beautiful country. But I am not here. I am from East Nepal. From East Nepal? Yeah, I was born in East Nepal, but I stay here. Where in East Nepal? Like near Everest? Nearly Everest. Uh, Everest then is too distinct before. Okay. Is nice then, in that area? A nice area, but too much cold now. Very cold? Yeah. Uh, we have not been yet, so we would like to go, but... We don't like How the cold. How long do you travel to Nepal? <laughs> three months. Three months? Yeah, three you months. are going soon, yeah? Every day? Uh, no, so we go to... Another round? Uh, we've done Madi Himal. Madi Himal. And then after this, we go to Langtang. Langtang, yeah. yeah. Langtang. Langtang, very near to the Kashmir. Yeah? Yeah, very close, yeah. And then we would like to do Everest, but... It depends how much time we have. Yeah, and you say now it's very cold? Yeah, now it's cold. A little cold, but it's actually working is always possible with blood heat. Also yeah. After make blood warm, possible. Yeah, we don't like cold. I'm from England, it's very cold. Yeah. So I, I like the, the yeah. sunshine. sunshine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was cheeky. The conversation finished with, give me money. <laughs> I got no money, man. I got no money. We are budget travelers. We kind of be spending money as we wish. I would love to give everyone some money. I really would. But if we do that, I think it encourages this cycle. and cycle. Yeah. So if you're selling something, then don't get me wrong, I'll buy it. Like it was a nice interaction, but I can't just give everyone money. Look at that beautiful dog. It's Hello. The first golden Labrador. What are you barking at? You're very what are you barking at? No. <laughs> Did he bite you? He jumped on me. Oh my god. Oh. I was very close to, to touch me then and then he jumped on me. Well that's why. Oh my god. Learn your lesson, don't touch the dog. Oh god. <laughs> that was very scary. Oh god. One thing which is quite surprising as we're walking through these areas is just how big some of the houses are. Like you see, these are not guest houses. These are just normal people's houses. They're very beautiful. Like they're really oh, this is not the path. <laughs> uh, back that way. No, that's we have to have to go back to the road. Yeah, the uh, the houses are quite large. We were told by Jamona from the coffee shop that the price of land in Nepal is actually more than the urban areas in the United States. Very, very expensive to buy land here. And so I'm not sure entirely how people afford to do it, whether it's generational wealth, whether their family have obviously owned this land for a long time or where they actually get the money to create these fabulous buildings from. But yeah, how strange is it that you would find that the land here in Nepal it's more expensive than the United States. I'm not entirely sure why. I think there's a level of corruption involved in that. I also think it's to do with, um, there's a lot of Nepali people who go overseas. And originally those people would go overseas, work for a few years, bring money back, and they would settle down, buy some land. But I do think one of the problems now is that those people are no longer returning. They're making lives for themselves abroad. And so maybe that money isn't coming back. I would expect possibly the price of the land to tumble. 
there might be a big effect of that in the coming years. It might make things a little bit more affordable for people here as well. You see, the houses are quite grand. Bigger than most houses in England anyway. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Good. I'm good, I'm good as well, thank you. To the stairs to Shiva? Where are you from? England. What? England. Mm. Are you from here? Yeah, I'm from Nepal. You like it here? Yes. How do you speak such good English? How do you, you go to school? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is that where you learn English? Or from television? I want to see your country money. How is it? I don't have my country money. Oh, you don't have? I've not been in my country now for four months. Oh. A long time. You don't want. What? You don't go out, you have to sit here in the park. Yeah. yeah. You come from visit here. Visit here, yeah. Where are you going now? Shiva. Oh, dear. That, um, the Shiva temple. Temple, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, that was my village. That was your village. Yeah. Why no more? What? And you still live there now, or you live here now? I'm staying here, but my village was there. Oh, and they remove your village for the temple, or? Yeah. Uh, people sad? Yes. Sad. But you like it here, or you prefer up there? I prefer there because there was, there was like a traditional one. The Martin Mall, we conquered this stair. We are able to conquer any mountain that is on our way. It's fine. Although I wouldn't fancy doing these stairs after a few beers. <laughs> You'd no. have a big accident. Definitely. But it'll be a good to put in some weight to it. What a view of the city, though, eh? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Namaste. Now we're now approaching what I like to term Monkey Alley. <laughs> we were walking up this section of the road yesterday, up here, and out of the blue, just peeping round the corner, we found a large monkey with even larger testicles. <laughs> Big male uh, leader of the group. And then just after that, we seen a about 20 other monkeys. I'm thinking, oh no, this is not the place to be walking. Fortunately, just at that moment, a scooter came past. So we kind of ran and hid behind it. I'll show you now. It was funny. Okay, so we have arrived at the World Peace Pagoda. We're not going to go in because we came yesterday and I don't really have any footage to show you because you're not allowed cameras in there. It's a sign of respect. So we're here, but this is also the path that's going to take us to the Shiva temple. So let's take a mooch up. And you see you get lots of little trinkets if that's what you're into. And what we do now is on the other side of this ridge, cakes. Can I get a cappuccino, please? Okay. One, please, yeah. It looks delicious. For reference, here's the shops. These are the steps up to the stupa, and this is the path to the Shiva temple. I know you, I saw you yesterday. You were a naughty man asking me to if I wanted. <laughs> naughty man. <laughs> Well, okay. yesterday we were at the Buddha Stupa and as we were coming down, as always, we were getting approached for all these house. <laughs> and he was uh, a salesman, shall we say. <laughs> but this is the path to the Shiva statue. A nice path. We're in the forested area. I'm kind of excited to see this because down from lakeside it's very imposing. You see it on top of the hill 
kind of a, always a presence. And despite the fact that we've been in Pokhara for what feels like forever now, this is our first time. So I'm looking forward to seeing it, but it's just interesting that juxtaposition between the Hindu and the, the Buddhist culture, how harmonious it is. It's very nice. This is what I meant about the no video thing. But this is your stupa here. And I certainly recommend it. When we came yesterday, very peaceful, really nice. There's kind of a rule to be quiet. You see, after this long and arduous expedition, <laughs> we've still got a fair way to go yet. This road's gonna go around, it's gonna go up, and that's where we're aiming, right there. Okay, guys, the way you're going is quite a challenge. A lot of fun, but just consider your walking ability, because yeah, it's, <laughs> Not very well maintained, this section of the path. And it's also much, much busier. You have to consider the demographic of Nepal is much more Hindu than it is Buddhist. So of course this is going to be more popular. And certainly so far, it's incredibly more popular. Vastly more people here. can only hope that it's just as peaceful as the Buddhist stupa. Although, <laughs> something tells me I can throw that idea right out the window. <laughs> he just embarrassed you, didn't he? Right, that was fit, well. <laughs> Sorry. All right. We have arrived and first impressions are I am disgustingly sweaty. Look at my, can you see the sweat shining on my arm? The walk up is actually quite hard. Once you reach the main road, the walk up is super steep, really hot, really busy. There's stairs, there's ground. It's hard work, right? It is, it is a hard work, like, it's like, you know, it's like a punishment, like they for the <laughs> Hindus, like, you know, to, they need to pay for their sins coming here to, you know, see the statue. Did you pay for your sins? Oof. Well, I had paid for my sins a long time ago since I met you, so. Oh, right. <laughs> now I'm the one living with the sin, is it? <laughs> Second impressions are that it's extremely busy. Very impressive though. It's massive. But yeah, very, very, very busy. What do you make of it? What do you reckon this to this place? Uh, no, it's a uh, tourist trap, obviously. Uh, it's crowded. Uh, I love the little statue that is kind of spinning around the the, the biggest statue, the Chiva. It's very noisy, like in this little bit of oil. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's beautiful. I think that the most beautiful thing you know, of this walk is the views. I think that these views are much, much better than the one that we have in Sarangkot. Well, this was the Shiva temple. I highly recommend doing the walk if you're fit and able. I certainly recommend doing the Buddha Stupa because for me, that place is incredibly peaceful, very enjoyable, serene and quiet. 
feels like a really strong homage to Buddhism and I think that the meaning behind the place is really important. This place is very impressive, very noisy, yeah. <laughs> very busy. It, yeah, it, this place feels more like a bit of an Instagram spot, nice place for photos, not such a place for peace and quiet, but you know, if you're in Pokhara, of course you're going to come. It's ever present on the horizon. And so, yeah, a spare day or so, come up to the other side of the lake, see the Buddha Stupa, see the Shiva Temple, and get some cool Instagram spots like these cool guys. And don't forget your bottle of water, because you might get Top tip of the day. <laughs> Down the steps now. That was a long walk. Very many steps. Quite treacherous, actually. This is good compared to what it is up there. It's actually quite wet. It's just steps the whole way down. You realize how high you are. But now we're going to take a boat back across to the other side of the lake. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> and how many times did you have to do it? Two, three? Two or three a day. I thought it was more. So you do it two yes. or three times a day? <laughs> Off we go. Yes! Oh, I think there's a bit of a... There's a leak coming in by your feet. Do you know how to swim? Right, so we are in the boat right now, on our way to our hotel. Well, close to our hotel. And then we think that we are going to finish our video here uh, because we have finished our day. So what do you have to say? Are you enjoying this little ride? Uh, he looks very relaxed. That's not very normal on him. But anyway, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. See you in the next one.